on the last video. The body of a child, the brain of a genius, the 2000 IQ killjoy detective, Naoto Shinogane! Is this an army of idiots? <laughs> what? Killjoy detective? And so we continue. Hey there guys, LOI Games, I'm back with some more Persona 4 Arena. Where we last left off, we fought you and found out that I need a lot of practice with Naoto. So, I did some practice off screen, and now let's continue onward. Very well. <sighs> Tough battle, I know. My shoulders, my shoulders heave as I gasp for air. I managed to win, but Senpai was as strong as ever. Uh, Naoto, are you okay? Yes. Senpai stands up and offers me his hand as I sit on the ground. Despite the fact that he was hurt worse than I was, the look, on his, the look in his eyes showed that he is, was seriously worried about me. He, he's a completely different person than the person I saw before the battle. Yes, this is the person I know. Oh, thank goodness. Huh? I mean, are you all right too, Senpai? I'm sorry for hurting you, even though the circumstances demanded it. Oh, everything's fine here. You're back to the usual now, do I see? The usual? What's that supposed to mean? I wonder about the use the use of his words, usual, but there are more important matters at hand. Can you tell me what's going on here? Senpai tells me about what had happened at Inaba while I was gone. I'm at a serious loss. I'm at a loss for words. The Midnight Channel started to air again. The video that I saw was a promotional video for something called the P1 Grand Prix. Apparently, it has been shown a few times before I saw it. Before I just saw it. Wait, that video. It, it was shown all over the town? N no. N no, now's not the time to let that sort of thing discourage me. According to you, Senpai, not only did the Midnight Channel make a comeback, but several of us, Kanji-kun, Teddy, and Risei-san, have gone missing. Senpai and the others have entered the TV at Juness to investigate this. I was shocked to see it looking completely different than before. Indeed. But it seems, at least in part, to be an illusion. Yep. Really? In fact, the students gathered to watch our battle were not real. Oh, yeah. They did seem like shadows, but different somehow. I didn't get the sense that they were hostile, though. Not yet, at least. I thought that Risei-san and Teddy might have been illusions, too, but both have gone missing. And given their persona abilities... I cut myself off. Senpai shakes his head in response. It's possible that that really was them. But we should have faith. If our enemy can use illusions, they might be victims as well. That is a possibility. You're right. I can at least have more faith in my friends than that. I raise my head to look at Senpai, who is watching me. Our eyes meet and I hurriedly look away. Ah, Blushing, Naoto. You're blushing! Speaking of which, why are you here, Naoto? That's... There's the question. Well, it's only natural. But, but I'm here on business, not anything personal. I cannot disclose the details of my investigation. Not only are the... Not only are there rules, but if I speak up, I would end up getting him involved. I have to avoid that at all costs. As I'm deciding what to say. Hey, you know, forget I asked. I'm just happy to see you again. Me too. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what's the matter now? I mean, well, about me being unsociable. Please understand that it's not because my work is more important than my friends. Huh? I've never thought that about you at all. I don't think any of us have. Senpai. Nope, I don't think anybody does. Alrighty, time to break up your little chat. Hey, two lovers are talking right now. Teddy? Now John wins! 
impressive beating of the almighty sensei. But now it's time for you to go on. Your next opponent's already waiting. When his speech is over, the monitor shuts off. Next opponent, huh? I'd rather not continue this charade. But I have to push forward in order to get a hold of the situation. Well then, we should get going. Yu Senpai nods reassuringly. I feel a sense of relief welling up within me. I can't, I can't let my guard down, but knowing that Senpai is with me to help me face whatever lies ahead, I know I have nothing to fear. Or so I think. Senpai is walking next to me when he suddenly stops. What the? Invisible wall? What is this? And how come you can pass through? A wall? There's nothing there. I wave my hand through the place where Senpai said he couldn't pass through, but I didn't feel anything. But Senpai doesn't look like he's faking it. The monitor turns on again. Teddy's face fills the screen. Huh? Did I forget to tell you? Only the winner can move on to the next fight. No one's getting out of this school until a champion's been crowned. Only the one who fights to the very end and comes out on top can leave. So neither opponent can leave the area unless we fight each other. You go on ahead now, Del. I'll try and find a way to catch up. Very well. Be careful, Senpai. Like always. I will. See you later. I'm hesitant to leave Senpai behind, but it can't be helped. I'd like to try to destroy the wall, but there's nothing I can do if I can't touch it. With Senpai smiling at me, I decide to go on ahead. It looks like no matter how many people I fight, I have to, pers I have, I have to progress by myself. After some time walking, I run smack into something, even though there was nothing there. I didn't understand what was going on at first, but I soon came to realize something. So this is one of those invisible walls senpais, Senpai was talking about. It seems that some of them won't allow anyone to pass, no matter who wins the fights. Its cup is completely transparent. The only way to know it's there is to feel its glass-like smoothness. I have no choice but to take a detour, but time after time these walls keep getting in my way. I'm not choosing my path, I'm being herded. I suppose I'm following the plan laid out, laid out by whoever set this up. In the gym we are. After I opened the door to the gym I saw a space clear, cleared away for that. As I expected, General Teddy appears on the monitor. You're so slow, now, Your second opponent's been waiting for you. I've said it before, but I don't intend to fight my friends. Alrighty, let's do this! Bring out the next opponent! Yo, yo, yo! How's it hanging now, doll? Oh, God. Kanji-kun? Well, he certainly looks like Kanji-kun. But it's only looks, it's only looks, but it only looks that way. You know, way. I've been thinking, the way you talk is so lame. Huh? I like how it's like, like sexy music that's playing when Kaji shows up. Like, just listen for a moment. You could hear the saxophone, oh my goodness. I thought I was ready to face anyone, but there isn't a matter of being in my right mind now, or not. Is this an illusion? Oh, please let this be an illusion. It's like way too uptight and goody goody. Makes you sound so distant, you dig? <laughs> what was that? Goody goody. What, what was that, Kanji? <sighs> Is that so? See, that, that's what I'm talking about. You could have just said, oh, you think so? You, you think so? Yeah, now you're getting it. Now I feel like I'm on your wavelength. Thanks. <laughs> Then again, relatability aside, I feel like you were miles away from me to begin with. Hey, you're doing it again. What's with the Miss Manners Act? Uh, I'm sorry. It's a habit of mine. Or maybe it's that you don't care about getting close to us, huh? You don't feel like you gotta bother getting to know us and stuff? Of course I don't think. Hell no, man. <laughs> 
That was comedy gold. You never warm up to anyone because you set your standards so goddamn high. Hell no, man. Oh dear, he's shown his true self. Is it, you know what? Are you putting on a show of not letting anyone near you because you got no confidence in yourself? Is that it? Candy Coon. <laughs> I'm sorry. They may be false accusations, but some of their statements are hitting home. I can't brush off these words, and my heart aches. Why are you so nervous? Your height? Your body? The girly voice? Let me give you a little lesson in manliness. I hope you're ready for that. This is, in this is insanity. Wait a second. I didn't say any... Ugh. Well, it looks like we're fighting Kanji. I wonder if his sexy music will continue playing. Let's find out, shall we? All right, check out my skills. Let's end this. Oh, well, he did end it. It's not too accurate when you try to do the insta kill. It's kind of difficult for some reason. Like, it's not difficult, but it doesn't register it. And it's kind of annoying when you're in tight situations like that. Welcome to the So let's try this again, shall we? This place exists. I wish you good luck. It's not a hard fight. I like how he tried to start it off the same way. You go. Here we go. Get caught. Farewell. <laughs> Perhaps I took it too far. Perhaps you did. Now that I think about it, is there even a way to dodge or even block that move? So if it were to happen on to me. It will be. It looks like it will be impossible to block or even dodge, because it fills the entire screen. Basically, you just gotta stand still and stay away from them. Anyway, I think I'll end it here, guys. Anyway, like your favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the heart of the